and welcome to my packing process. I leave for Jamaica on Saturday and I have my packing rack all set up with all of my potential outfits and I'm going to try them on and pick out my favorites. And I need your help to help me pick out what I'm packing. So as I try on each outfit, if you could give me a yay or nay down below in the comments or any thoughts that you have, I would appreciate it. Also, hello, I have these earrings to go with this. I feel like I should be balancing some fruit on my head and keeping with the balancing on the fruit on the head. Okay, yay or nay, A or nay. I keep forgetting to discuss accessories. <sighs> I'm overwhelmed. Okay, do we prefer the red or the yellow? I can't decide. Don't worry, I have another one to choose. I think the red is better than the yellow, but do we like the blue better than the red? Or is it not a beaded moment and more of a green moment? Okay, now we're gonna shift gears from Farm Rio and we're going to go into Lily Pulitzer. Now, I understand that it's very controversial and I really want to know what you think of Lily Pulitzer. So tell me down in the comments if Lily Pulitzer is over or if it's making a comeback for you. I personally like it. I think it's so fun and bright and beautiful, but let me Hear what you think. Okay, this is Lily number one. This is what we've got. And this is the next one. Um, however, all of my friends live on the internet, so I have nobody to finish zipping me and tying me in the back, but it's got a cute little, you know, tie back detail right there. Okay, I have one more Lily to try on and she's not my favorite, but I'm gonna try it on for you anyway. You know, I don't hate it as much as I did the first time. It feels a little like Malibu Barbie, in my opinion. Do you see Malibu Barbie here? I mean, please. <laughs> oh, and I have fun earrings. I know I told you I wasn't gonna talk about accessories, but check these bitches out. Wait, I could try to do like a real situation, like boom, boom, boom. What do we think? Do you hate the earrings? Because <laughs> I really love them. Okay, so this dress is very basic, but it's so nice and soft and it really is float. Well, hello, leg. Um, it's super flowy, it's got slits on both sides and I really enjoy it. And I feel like I have a necklace that can bring it to the next level. So what do you think? Does it bring it to the next level? I got this necklace a couple years ago from TJ Maxx and it's um, Betsy Johnson and it's just so pretty for like an island vacation. It's a little crooked, but that's fine. I feel like the necklace kind of goes, but then also I feel like the dress is more casual and the necklace is more dressy. So I would love to hear your opinion on that. Let me show you the rest of the dress. We've got slits on the sides. We've got pockets in this bad boy. It ties in the front and then we've got smocking in the back. It's super comfy, super casual, but also I feel like it could be dressed up. And I would like to know what you think about the necklace with it. Tie this up in a knot right here like so, or I do like a little front tuck situation. What do you guys think, do you hate this skirt? Do you hate the skirt with this t-shirt or are you like, holy moly, that actually works together. And then I've just got like a casual um, black sandal. These would be fun. I've got these yellow ombre wedges, which kind of mirror this situation. So please advise, let me know what you think. I have worn this outfit situation on my last gosh at least three like tropical vacations so I'm not one to repeat outfits but I freaking love it so much I love the shorts I love the shirt it's so fun um so I'm wondering if I should keep it going or if I should move on to some of these new outfits that I have put together what do we think I've tried on about half of the clothing that I have pulled for this trip so far so you can see why I need help making cuts. This is my potential um, travel outfit if I don't go with a dress. And now let me show you my super cute uh, jacket. I just feel like this is so like Jamaica looking. I also might be crazy, that's fine. You guys, how cute is this? And especially for Pride Month. Okay, well this is not a very good option because I feel like I'm 95 years old. I do love this dress. It was just the scarf that was making it feel very old. This is just a Jessica Simpson slits on both sides, long t-shirt dress with a pocket. I have it in blue too. 
Okay, so this is my other casual dress travel situation. It's got a little wrap, do, wrap doodad in the back, <laughs> slits on both sides, and then it ties in the front, super comfortable. Travel option number two. Well, three if you count the green one, but I feel like that's already. Travel option number three, uh, the next one I'm gonna show you is basically the same as this. It's also a long black dress, but it's definitely a different dress. It'll be different sleeves. Um, still, oh, slit on just one side for this guy, just that side. Um, still with a back detail doodad situation back here. I feel like I might like this one a little bit better. Um, for travel possibilities, I could do, this feels a little tribal to me. I don't know, it's a little strong. What do we think? A little too strong? Let me give you another option. Still a little tribal, but a little more muted. What do we think? It's, this one's fun too. It might be more Africa than Jamaica though, because it's little elephants. What do we think? I would probably do flat shoes, not that you asked. Maybe wedges. I love bodysuits. So we're gonna pretend that we don't see my bra straps. I will have sticker bras. Lady situations that I see on the internet where, you know, this and then you do a belt like this do I have a belt this one is quite the bodycon dress just kidding this is the slip that goes underneath my next dress I think this one is so pretty but is it too I'm getting married tomorrow oh my god you guys this is the workout I still have to try on bathing suits it's got this twist detail which at first I really liked but then I was like oh, does it look like my dress is just twisted and people are gonna be like, hey, your dress is twisted? It's supposed to look like that. What do we think? Okay, here we are. So I feel like this could be a daytime or a nighttime look. I'm undecided on how I feel about the sheerness. So it is very sheer, although it's kind of hard to tell. So I only have, not to make you try to look, but I only have a bra and panties on. You can kind of see, well, there you go. You can super see the outside of my leg there. Give you a little catwalk situation here. To learn how to tie cute bows, but um, I did get strapped into my sticker bra, and this is what we've got. So these are also pants. As you can see, I'm a fan of big wide leg pants on vacation. To wear this shirt with another top, or another bottom that I will show you right after this. Let me see if I can do this tearaway situation. Ta-da! And then I have this skirt. So, do we like the top with both of them? Do we like one more than the other? You see where I'm struggling here? Okay, so I have this like silk handkerchief type topper situation um, from Italy that I just think is so beautiful, but I almost never wear it. So I've got this as an option. Option number one. And then this is option number two. I don't know if this feels too bathrobe-ish or if it's like pretty maxi dress-ish. And I did buy a second one so that Alyssa and I could be twins. I just don't know. Alyssa said she really liked this, but I need your opinions. I feel like Italy is way better over black. What do we think? God, I don't know. I do kind of like this color too. Need you to imagine that this guy has been steamed or ironed, um, but this is what I'm thinking of wearing to our farewell dinner. It's backless. This would be tied in a pretty bow once I learn how to do that. I love the style so very much. It's backless, which I just really think is super fun. Um, but I don't love, love this print the most. Do you love this print the most? Is this a keeper or is this a stayer? Like a stayer at Homer. Okay, see, I wish the last dress was in this print because I love this print. I love this style also. Similarly, it's got an open back with all kinds of crisscrossy detail situations. It's long, it's flowy, it's from the same brand, um, M-A-A-J-I. But this one is very <laughs> boobalicious. So this one is a similar style to my Don't Worry Beach Happy. It actually needs to be tied up a little tighter, but I'm being lazy now. <laughs> Um, and I really love this dress. It's super flowy. Like I said, it's got to be tied up hat a little tighter. So that's how the back should look. 
and that's how the front should look. Okay, and this was one of the very first dresses that I bought for the Jamaica trip, um, but now I have picked up so many more things, I might not actually end up needing it, but I plan to bring it anyway, just in case a wild hair strikes me to wear it, or in case somebody else needs a dress, because I really like to dress people. Just ask the girls that I have put into my bathing suits on the last two trips. It's a fun time, right? It's a Jessica Posh fashion show. <laughs> the fish is coming because I always bring the fish for a pool bag. This is also a cooler bag, so I really like it for popping like a water and my sunblock into. But my Fit Fun just got here and I got this neoprene tote bag. So I feel like I might pack both. There's no um, awards or penalties for being an overpacker, so I'm probably gonna bring this guy as well. <sighs> I really love this. Green tote. Um, I didn't show you all of the shoes I'm going to bring, but there's going to be a lot of those too. You guys, please help me. Please help me pick what I'm going to wear. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna try on bathing suits later today. Oh, hello, in case I forget to tell you, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. Hitting that thumbs up button lets me know that you like these kinds of videos and I will make more. Thanks for watching.